And you guys came originally, if I'm not mistaken, out of the gambling industry, but now you use the advanced technology because gambling is a really tough one, like fast, many microtransactions, global, lots of scrutiny going around. You use this technology in e-commerce. Give us a bit background on safe charts, please. Yeah, absolutely. So um, before we go into the uh, um, demanding of um, those types of merchants, a little bit brief on uh, who SafeCharge is. So we started the business uh, um, more than a decade of payment processing already. Started the business in Tel Aviv. We are very much international with offices in Hong Kong, Singapore, New York, Amsterdam, London, and Tel Aviv. Um, we started the business as a payment processing gateway and risk management provider, which basically served the demanding merchants, as you mentioned. Those types of merchants within the gaming and financial services requested from SafeCharge high availability to be able to process large amount of transaction in a very short period of time. They have the Grand National Day here in the UK, suddenly 100 and 1,000 peaks of transaction more than usual. And basically over the uh, years, we have developed a lot of product to serve those demanding merchants. But those types of product basically can serve any different online retailer, online travel agencies. And what we see today is those types of merchants are using the products that we have developed over the years and looking for those innovations coming into effect. And I will give you a few examples. Reconciliation Manager, one of our products that we have developed. These days, a merchant selling online or offline is using multiple payment methods, multiple payment channels. Those payment being processed, eventually lending in their bank accounts. Someone needs to go over all of those transactions, verifying that the transaction landed properly in the bank account and verifying that they are not losing any money out of all of those processing. This reconciliation manager was originally developed for the online gaming but that it's has an multiple. Automated, it's an automated all product. automated reporting directly generated and showing you where you so might you have be like losing a link money. To the bank statements online, and then you bank statements, check. the payment processing, the fees of the multiple partners that you might have. Everything is being Actually, calculated we may and need populated. This product. Sorry? We may need this product. Yes, so <laughs> one more example on, in, in terms of innovation in uh, payment. So if you are looking at the identity manager, again, a product that was developed originally to serve the online gaming op op um, operators that wants to verify the users. We spin it around a little bit. We allow the merchants now to use this identity manager. And today, every marketplace out there, if it's an online travel agency, if it's a marketplace reselling digital goods, he wants to verify the sellers that he's uploading into his platform. The verification of those sellers are all being done by our identity manager. Just two examples of products that we have developed over the years that are helping now any kind of online retailer, online travel agency out there. Right. Pa payment is becoming strategic for, for many merchants, and I think you recently released a white paper which uh, gives a few insights Indeed. around the business sides of payments. What are the top three learnings out of that so, white paper? So, um, first of all, as you might have uh, imagined, payment used to be a very boring topic in the past. In the last... Uh, are it you was, sure it's not boring anymore? Uh, no, it <laughs> used to be somewhere within the accountancy um, or the uh, CFO responsibility just to reduce the cost. However, these days, it has evolved into a real product ownership, into a real revenue driver into the organization. You talk about and conversion here. Conversions, acceptance rates, yeah. ways of accepting payment that will be easy for the user to use. And this is why we went and used Edgar Dunn, an independent researcher, to make sure that we understand what has evolved, what has changed in the payment industry in the latest uh, few years, and what we've seen is um, a, 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 we found basically seven different findings on the new ways of payment management. I do encourage each one of you to download it from our website and read all the seven of those. I want to focus on two. The first one is how payment has basically evolved from a cost center into a real revenue driver. And I will give you two examples of how those things are yes. happening. The first one, as you might have 
notice yourself, when you are using today a taxi, when you want to call a taxi and you are currently in a location where you don't have the cash, you don't have the local currency, what do you do? You are using payment app. Within the payment app, it's easy, it's smooth. These applications make it easier for the user to come and to purchase. And the user might prefer to use this taxi app rather than a normal taxi. This is ways of generating more revenues, more users into your shop. I'll give you another example. Over the last few years, we've seen increase of visitors, Chinese visitors into the UK. They are coming as tourists, but they want to shop. They prefer today to use WeChat Pay, Alipay, not necessarily the Visa and not MasterCard or cash that we know yeah. from the past. Using the WeChat Pay, Alipay, in order to accept it, you either go full key solution into implementation of point of sale, or you make it very innovative, very smart, and very fast to accept payment easily using an application that we have developed that enable any merchant out there. This is something that we've done now in Hito Air Airport. Every merchant that has adapted into our application can accept users, Chinese, that comes and pay with their own preferred payment methods. And obviously, if they can pay in your store, they will prefer to pay in your store rather than going and using other means of payments where in a store that doesn't offer them the preferred WeChat or Alipay. Those are only two so, examples. So Chinese can pay their duty-free in Heathrow with WeChat Pay? Yes, they can go out of the Heathrow and buy a, from the vending machines, Coca-Cola or water or whatever they want using their, uh, their own preferred payment methods. And this is one example. So I, I, I used to be on the board of Badu, and we had 350 payment providers. Yeah. It's like, holy shit, isn't that, <laughs> isn't that just too many? So the more payment providers you have, the more revenues you have, because the more abilities or channels you have, payment provider is probably the, the wrong term, but the, the, most, the more methods of payments you accept, the more revenues you have. So, so I think that the, um, uh, first of all, the, the answer to that is that yes, merchants do prefer to use more than one payment partner. And we, when we developed our end-to-end -end platform, we basically thought exactly about that. We thought what will generate the best KPIs for the payment manager, what will answer his needs to deliver the results into his own business. We've noticed that over the last few years, businesses does not want to use only one single payment provider. And that's fine, and we recognize it. Right? And we've done exactly that. We've opened up our platform. We called it Native Plus. It's our own native payment channel directly into Visa and MasterCard, but we've opened it up so a merchant can come and integrate whatever payment partner he wants and still accept payments. We are very confident in that approach. I think that um, offering today more than 25 different acquirers and more than 150 different alternative payment options, it what gives the merchant the blend that he needs mm -hmm. in order to go and convert better. And so where do you grow currently? Uh, Safe Charge is a public company. I think it's around $500 million in valuation. Um, where are your customers coming from and where is your growth coming from? So I think that uh, we've seen in the last few years a tremendous growth in our core verticals and core locations where is UK, Europe, but we have expanded geogra geographically into um, China, Asia as an overall. The marketplace that we are serving there, enjoying from our blend of payment methods and also the reconciliation uh, platform that we are offering. And Asia and Europe are now becoming the main growth channels for the safe for, for safe. Wonderful. I wish you the best of luck for the future. Thank you very and much. And I hope to see you at Noah Tel Aviv. Thank you. Our second yeah. actually already.